Hello and welcome to another how-to video from Hayes Machinery. I'm here today to tell you about all the different strimming wire currently available on the market and what's the best strimming wire for your strimmer. But first, if you saw a video from last week all about the fun we had doing mowable, James announced there's going to be a prize given away in each video. So I have got the proud honour of announcing the very first winner of this competition. Each video will have a new competition going forward and I'll announce it at some point during this video. Let's begin. Have you ever wondered why your strimmer head is not unwinding like it should do? You're having difficulty when you bump it and the line's not feeding out? One possible cause of that could be the fact you're using too thick of a strimmer wire in your strimmer head. Most people think the thicker the cord, the stronger it is, the less they'll use. But that's simply not the case. It all depends on what strimmer wire you're using for what application. Still, for regards to strimmer wire and thicknesses, have several different sizes, like most other manufacturers. Still, it's quite simple in the fact they've, they've got those colour-coded. So, for example, the blue is 1.6mm, then you go green at 2mm, the orange 24 the red 27 the yellow 3mm, and they also do a black, which is 3.3mm. So nice and easy to identify which is thickness wire you need. The best thing to do, have a look at your manufacturer's handbook. He'll tell you there what is designed for your strimmer to use. I mean, there's so many different shapes of strimmer wire as well. Here, we're looking at is round. You have round strimmer wire, you have edge strimmer wire, so you can have it in square or a pentagon shape or star shape. Uh, and there's also serrated strimmer wire and a twist core. So throughout this, this little video, we'll go through each one and what's the best application to use it for. We'll start off with the round strimmer wire. The round wire is the most cost effective. There's a lot of it on the market. We stock, like I say, the range from several different manufacturers. Really good strimmer wire for your domestic applications. Use it on all different size strimmers. So for example, if you're using it on a battery, you'd be looking at the smaller range, so 1.6, 2 mil. And then if you go into your petrol below 25 cc, you could be looking at a 2.4. Uh, even possibly the two. Anything which is above 25cc, that's when you can be looking at possibly a 2.7mm strimmer line. And then the 3 mils is really designed for those machines over 45cc. Uh, once again, refer to your manufacturer's handbook for the correct sizing. To preserve your strimmer wire, it's always best to actually put it in some water, um, cover it over, leave it for about 24 hours or overnight, and bring it out, and then the moisture in there stops from going brittle. The next strimmer wire after the round we're going to talk about is the edged. The edged, there's so many different models of edge strimmer line. Um, we've got a couple here, so we've got an Oregon and um, still and a, a Husqvarna um, edge trimmer line. So edge is anything which is a different shape to the round. So you might have a um, twist on it, um, you may have a, in, a, in a square shape or a pentagon. There's many different shapes and sizes. And the reason for that is they have two different types of polymer plastics. One polymer uh, plastic is to aid in rigidity of the strimmer wire, and the other one there, the other coating, is to stop it from, from damaging, so it makes it high tensile. So the two different types of polymers there make it a lot better for cutting slightly thicker brush, um, thicker grass, uh, so you aimed at more of a professional user um, or a heavy, heavy user um, homeowner. The other benefit for having the dual core, for example, is this is a twist here and there's a core cut there, is the difference in the, in the two different polymers. One polymer actually heats up quicker than the other, so what it does is it dissipates the heat of that strimming wire across the entire length of the strimming wire. Um, I don't know if you ever noticed you've, oh, you've been strimming rather than the strimming wire just breaking at the tips, it breaks close up by the eyelets of the strimming wire. That's because that's where the strimming wire heats up the most due to the friction of the, of the strimming head spinning around. As it snaps there, that's when you can have problems with it bump feeding, it, it not going through the eyelet correctly on the strimmer head and causing you all sorts of problems. So the idea of the uh, dual core polymers is the fact to dissipate the heat across the entire length of that strimming wire means it will start wearing out rather than heating up in one end and snapping off. Our last one I talk about is serrated. So a few different manufacturers do the serrated edge. These are a much thicker um, type of strewn wire. These are ideal for really thick kind of brush, dock leaves, weeds, uh, possibly brambles as well. Um, on these serrated ones, they, they come in different strands, so you need to go in a special, specialized sort of head. Um, the sort of heads we have on our website is the Oregon Jet Fit Head. Um, these are cut, pre-cut to length. Um, for example, these ones here I've actually got is a 7mm thickness. This is designed for anything over 45cc. So these are slide in, the ratchets actually click into the strimmer head, spins around and then you have to replace them in pairs as and when you need to. But these will last very long. Cut in standard grass, it's just too thick. If you're just doing a little bit of edging and things like that, it won't give you a nice cut at all. It's just too thick. But it's designed for that really, really thick brush. Still also do the same sort of head, but it's the same sort of process with a serrated edge strimmer wire. Once again, all these available on our website. And we'll go through our website later on and show you how to select the correct strimmer wire for your strimmer. We've briefly gone through the different strimmer wires that are available currently on our website. We haven't answered though, what's the best for your strimmer? All depends on your application and what strimmer you have. 
If you've got your manual there, it will tell you in the manual what size trimming wire it is, and I can help you then choose the right type of trimming wire for your application. If you don't have your manual, not to worry, we can go through a few basic steps. So if you're a domestic user, small garden, if you want to do a little bit of edging, it's fairly thin grass, then a round trimming wire would be absolutely perfect for you. Depending on your trimmer, battery trimmer generally has a thinner trimming wire, so you're looking at something like a 1.6, 2mm. If it's a larger or a petrol replacement battery unit, so a large commercial battery trimmer as such, such as the Milwaukee, the Ego, there's still larger ranges and the Husky larger ranges. They both will take, like I said, a larger trimming wire, like 2.4. Most petrol machines and all petrol machines in the market will be absolutely fine with a 2.4 mil strewn wire. Once you go to the larger machines, the large commercial brush cuts and things like that, that's when you can be looking at 2.7 and a 3 mil. Um, once again, you can even go to the next stage up again in 3.2 mil. But that is for your basic grass trimming, grass going. It's the most cost effective way, the easiest feeding strewn wire. Easy to wind up on your trimmer head and easiest to use. The other benefit from the round is if you've got um, concrete going against a path or an edge of a, of a wall, things that you're trimming, the round's best for that. Yeah, nice cylinder sort of shape, it will cover it and won't wear as much. The next trim wire we can talk about will be the edged. The edge trim wire, like it says, rather than being nice, nice and round, it's got a bit of serrated edges on there. It doesn't last as long if you hit on concrete and things like that, if you hit against brickwork, because um, it will take the edge off them and wear the trimmer wire out. However, it's much better for, you get a cleaner cut in the grass, much better for if you've got a lot of weeds in your garden, and things like that. And once again, they're available on a whole host of different sizes and different manufacturers. If you had something like a battery, something like that, you'd be looking at the smaller line again, 1.6, 2 mil, but with a with an edge on it. Same again across the same same sort of size ranges. So last but not least is the serrated edge. Serrated edge we only recommend for more of the larger commercial trimmers. It needs that additional power to actually spin around the thicker cord that you use with a serrated edge trimmer. It also needs a special design head to fit these um, items in. Once again, we do the Oregon, we do the steel uh, available, and we do a fair decent sizes of trimmer cord on our website as well. So first one I'm going to talk about is the Husqvarna Whisper Twist Line. This is available in several different sizes. This one, for example, is a, it's got four sections on it, which, which are chopped for, for the cutting. So it gives you a nice, clean cut and efficient cut. Because it's got the four sections on it, also makes it fairly round as well, which means it's easy feeding into your trimmer head and easy on wine when you bump feed it out. Twin core polymer. So the center polymer is high tensile, so nice and strong to help reduce the issue of the trimmer line snapping. And the outer polymer is a little bit softer. So if you're hitting it against brick or anything like that, it's a bit softer so it won't destroy the shroom wire. This is a really good all-round shroom wire. I use this one myself personally. It's easy feeding, cost-effective, and a really nice one to use. Next one I'm going to talk about is the Husqvarna Core Cut Line. Once again, always available on our website. The Core Cut Line, very similar to the twist in the fact that it has a center polymer, which is high tensile, sort of them snapping, and a softer outer. This one comes in a pentagon shape. This is easy feeding. Um, this one here is also helps distribute the heat across the entire strand of the shroom wire, so it stops it from snapping right close to the eyelet, so your trimmer head. The next one we're going to talk about is the Oregon Nylon Star Line. Um, the Star Line's got five points here of contact, so five sharp edges to cut to get a nice clean cut. This one here is a single polymer, however it has got particles of aluminium built into the strewing wire, so the aluminium does help distribute the heat evenly across the entire strewing wire, stopping it from snapping right at the eyelets of the strewing head. These are available in several different shapes. I've got the Star One here, and the other one we keep in stock is the Square Line. And once again, the same properties, two different shapes. What's the difference between the square and the star? Very little, to be perfectly honest. I've used both of them. Um, you can choose any one you want. I find the star designed to a feed better in strimmer head. However, the square does seem to last longer in regards to um, the cutting edge and things like that. It's a more robust shape. And the last, last row wire we have here is the um, steel square wire. This comes in a large reel, 3.3 uh, mil thickness. This is ideal for contractor use and things like that for large clearance jobs. It's a really, really strong, durable strewing wire. It's only a single polymer, so you don't have the same benefits you have with the other strewing wires we've already covered. However, it's an affordable solution for clearance and things like that. So it's a very popular item here in our store. As I said previously, all this strewing wire is available on our website. To find it, it's quite easy. Go to www.hayesmachinery.co.uk. Then you go to parts and accessories. You can see here brush cut accessories, and then you got all the different items available for the brush cutters. So what we want is trimming line. Click on that. Then you got a whole selection of the trimming line we offer. Some of the ones we covered in the video. For example, here the Husqvarna core cut line. Click on here. It gives you all the different options, the different thicknesses and different lengths. Once you've done those, click buy it now, and then carry on through the on-screen instructions. As mentioned before, we're giving away one prize to one lucky subscriber in each of our videos going forward. And I've got to announce the very first winner of this competition. So congratulations to you, Stuart's Servicing. You have won 
a little steel goodie bag, a steel hat, some steel hand tools, some steel key rings, some other goodies. Congratulations. Please reach out to our website, hazemachine.co.uk, so we can get your address details and get this goodie bag straight to you. And remember, all you have to do to enter this competition on our next video is just subscribe to our channel. We'll pick one lucky winner on each time and we'll announce it on the next video. Thank you very much. Well, if you now you've got some sort of basic understanding of all the different streamer wires available on the market, um, different shapes, sizes, lengths, so on and so forth. And if you now you know which streamer wire you need for your application and how to find it on our website. If you need any further help with any streamer wire, please drop us a comment below. Thank you for watching.